Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon with your three lords into the mat. Uh, we are here in the level that is uh, Metalhead. And I'm not sure, quite sure what that was. And I think there's a skill point on this level, which is perfect. I'm going to assume that that means just a battle with the boss. But not the whole level, because otherwise... I don't think I'm doing that well. Do all of these drop emeralds? Yes, so where did the other one go? Or was that exactly the one who I saw being rolled out? Transformers, roll out! Well, though it's more like bucket, bu bucket hats? Roll out. I thought they were all called Metalhead, despite having metal pockets on their head. Oh, and also I was supposed to make a joke about uh, Metalhead. Huh, same hat. Because even when you enjoy metal, that doesn't mean you are excluded from enjoying means. Right. Now I was perfectly well aware that I wanted to step away from that. I guess I just didn't quite succeed in doing that. In doing so, that that would keep me from uh, repeating the same word over and over again, which might be handy. Makes for structure and more interesting sentences. Oh. This is Dragon Summer. I hear the shaking. Are you up there? Somewhere, probably. And thanks for that. Here, have some flame money. <gasps> Bananas! But I know there's some healer around here, so let's grab some. So by the time we face the boss, we will actually feel well enough rested. Hey buddy. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. That's what you mean by all charged up to meet me. Um Oh, I can only attack them when they're green? Okay, now this is already far from perfect. For one, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Second part, this sounds like a really good, really bad time. Yeah, no, that this is this is not perfect. That, that's for sure. I can give it a second shot? I mean, this is just the beginning of the episode, right? And you know, learn some of the patterns that he's... ...showing? I say that, I will not actually learn anything from this. Oh, that, was that all? Okay, yeah, no, 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 we can come back to this, we can perfect it, no problem. Just need a little bit of practice first, I guess. Okay, here's the portal to return home. Which means we can come back here really easily. Or at least we can leave really easily. And leaving is sort of a necessary step if you want to come back there. Like, if you want to return anywhere, first you have to leave. No way around it. There's some loot behind that waterfall. I'm not entirely sure how to get there yet. But I'm sure I will find out. Can we just fly across here? 
maybe if I properly glide at the top of my jump, like this. Apparently that was not proper gliding at the top of my jump. Maybe if I properly glide from the top of that jump, but that doesn't appear to be the case either. Maybe I need to get to the very edge of that jump so I can properly properly glide from the top of my jump. Yes. Close enough. That was not the greatest treasure here, but uh, it's a treasure alright. Okay, well here comes the challenging part. How do I get over there? This is Oh I did admit I 100% did not realize that that was a problem there Okay, but that gives us an opportunity To perfect this friend Okay, good thing I did not smash that in time Ahead. Run along now. There's a gem up there. Is there a gem supposed to be up there? Yes, there is, because we can climb up from here. Right, 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 right. So I guess he had like some sort of a, a supply of enemies he was using to. Oh! I see. So this is how we get to that loot. But let's do the boss fight first. Okay, can't smash into that yet. Okay, how are you doing? What you doing? Okay, you're heating that up. Okay, they will blink in advance before I hit them, so... I will be able to avoid attacking the wrong pillars at the wrong time. And we got extra life from the skill points, so... Mission accomplished! And how did the monkey die? And why did this gem fly all the way over here? Who knows? But what we do know is that we can go up from here and we did not actually have to worry about this nearly as much as I did. What I do not have is the key! So we have missed something. Something probably important. Something me would want to unmiss. That's not a word. Did you sap me? Better have sap me. Ah, I see these rooftops here. Also hold great secrets to us. But how do we get up there? How do we navigate the higher stories of this said fortress? Is the platform over there I see an actual platform or just for aesthetics? Looks to be for aesthetics, let's not jump down there. Plan is set and ready to go. Okay, but how do we get up further? What's gonna take me higher? Was there a secret path over here that we could use? The answer is in there, mate. What do you mean a secret path? Alright. But it's probably not gonna be up there because that would just be silly. And 
Okay, I have no idea. I'm gonna go stare at those walls until my eyes bleed out. And that should give me exactly what I want, which is an understanding of how this part of the level works. Can we just burn all these flanks? The answer seems to be a resounding no. Can we jump in windows? No. Chicken, tell me, how do we do this? What am I missing? Is there a giant switch somewhere? Or a giant top or a giant bottom? If there isn't a switch available? Like maybe a both a bottom and a top could do the job? And if they can just take, uh, you know, turns? Being the participant in this mission? How do I get to you? I can fly a tunnel, but I cannot jump from that position. I was hoping I could. But this one is an even rougher situation in that regard. What can I do for this? Like I'm missing something very important to me because it, you know, pertains to loot. Or pertains? Pertains, pertains. One of those, probably. Like it's an important loot acquisition in discussion. And I need said loot to be the wealthiest dragon in all of the kingdoms that the dragons are interested in. Or worlds, even. all of Sandy Shores. We don't actually get to go to Sandy Shores yet. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, show me something from here. What was the shiny thing I saw here? Oh, these... Aliens here? The aliens? Enemies. Here too. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's no surprise that, you know, yesterday was an XCOM video. Tomorrow is an XCOM video. So if I mix up aliens and enemies, I would think it's an understandable mistake at the maker. But what in the seven hells is the solution here? Rather more hells than that. Wait, no, there were nine hells. Seventh heaven was a TV show, I know that. that that's probably what I was thinking of. You know, yeah, the, the whole Christianity. Lots of Christianity. If I remember correctly, there was something off about the actor who played the dad, but I don't remember what. But there's always off something off about everyone, isn't there? You can't have nice things. Oh, that's a uh, that's closed off. That's closed off. Nothing looks like the obvious access to where I want to go. You know what? I think... Once we have the way to come back here, I will come back to this. But for now, let's continue on on our adventure. I've already spent more than enough time on this. And then uh, let's go to the next world that's waiting for us. Because I want to go there, I'm gonna explore the basic landscape first. Then I'm gonna go and do the flight. And I think those both should fit into this episode really nicely. So let's go do that. Though I am disappointed that we are now at a non-zero zero ending number. We are at a non-hundred. 
life. Do you have a life for me as well? No. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? Yes, let's go to the Dreamweaver's world. In fairness, it doesn't surprise me that he's being a uh, slight dick to us, considering that uh, we keep jumping on his head. So Spyro is also being a dick. It's a mutual relationship. Which is completely fine, really. They're just both having. Enjoying their own lives. Is it the chicken? <gasps> That's a mushroom. Oh, right. Though there's a caster up there that keeps messing with the sizes, causing a sizable mess, if you will. What lies here? Treasure. That what? That's what lies here. I'm into treasure. Hi. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Thanks. But there's mushrooms. Mushrooms are there. The mushrooms are real. And they're cute and they're friends. Which is... Why I sh should feel bad about their death. Also, I should not run headfirst into explosives. I think we've learned that before. Well, no, actually no, I, I think that's the first time I mistook that for something it was not. Okay, so I have to kill these three first. And once they're there, the wizard up there will... Maybe... Take about with the other guys. Shuck. I think this is the boss here. Hey, how are you doing? Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is... Not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? No, I guess... I'm gonna guess you wanted me to have money. And boy, do I have money. I am a rich bastard. You can have to call me a bitch. Yo, cast the fellow. Could you please dynify these fine folks? No? Okay. Guess that means we're gonna go here this way. And then maybe once the Gastery fellow is dead, we can continue on. Oh, it's like a. It's like a Gaster cannon. So we can make our own tiny enemies now. Oh, and we should make a tiny enemy of that one as well. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Is the nasty Nork a good material for making toast? Is the nasty Nork bread?
I don't know. Maybe Spyro does. Maybe Spyro knows better than me whether or not Nasty Nork is bred. Maybe that's why he knows to think of such things as whether or not he can toast Nasty Nork. Does it hit? Eh, close enough. Oh, you almost capped me. I thought you were just covering in fear. I'm not planning anything beyond that. Haunted Towers. What's your ordeal? What's your functionality? Oh, I see. That's what your functionality is. They are teaching a lot of violence in this game. You pack a fool. Fools are meant to be attacked. Apparently, I missed some gems over there. They'll take care of that right now! That was combined uh, right now and right now. So what did they get the Fool's Errand mission the thing for? Also, why are you guys back? Because the center platform fellow is not back, so you guys being back is really rude. Because there's no one to switch you guys around for me. So your behavior is extremely uncalled for. Okay, my aim was terribly bad. There we go, that's better. Right, let's go minimize those uh, friends over there. Also, the gems is over here are actually over there, so I should probably go back there as well. Maybe back there first? Nah. No, I want to get rid of these guys. I'm gonna hit that boy again. Yeah. Okay, now somebody's gonna get the hurt real bad. The thing is these two. So they might slap me. Which might cause me to get the hurt real bad. Alright, alright, alright. There's the flight mission. Oh, that's a lot of fools. What are your plans? Oh, you make a staircase. Okay, maybe not a staircase per se? 
But on the positive side, hey, look at this. There's some gems here that I forgot about earlier. So not only invincible, but they just walk in the air. That's completely fine. Can I just land over here and just ignore those fellows? I can. Also, these boys remain tiny. Which is good. Because that means we can skewer them with our horns. Which is a very friendly activity, honest. Okay, what do you do? You lift that one. Okay, so. If I get you while I stand right next to this. No, 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 you both have to be taken down for this to work. Gotcha. Am I far enough away? Yes. That's what I like to see, because that means I don't die. And not dying is a good thing to see. Okay, let's go fly. Entering Icy Flight. That 906 is gonna bother me so much. I should have picked up six gems less. But how would I have known that I found this to be something near impossible to manage? Alright, I can use this button instead might hasten things up a little. Okay, there's more barrels here. Nice. There's more choppers here. Final chopper. Okay, and if I fly in this direction, I should find barrels as they come to me. Speaking words of wisdom, Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Attack! Okay, so now my question is, what's next? We don't have a lot of time to discover what's next. So we're just gonna have to hope for the best. But best, the next seems to be... Landing in the water. Chests, lights, and... Chests and lights, yeah, those were what we hadn't find, found yet. Oh, and we start off facing the lights, so that's probably what we were meant to start with. Makes sense. As unfortunate as that may be. Did I miss them? Yes, yes I did. But in fairness, there's also chests to hunt. Which I missed 100% of. There's a chest over here, and I think we missed the first chest oh, way the fuck over there. But once I have all of the lights and the chests, I can go and start uh, working on the trains. It's currently all headed that in that direction, so maybe not all of them. Oh no, I missed that. That's bad. We are gonna run out of time because I fucked up real bad. Okay, let's try it again. But we now know that one of our options is to grab the chests as we fly by them. That's a good option to take, usually. 
Oop. Nearly died there. Then we can come back around to here. We can turn around and grab the rest that we missed. Which I think sounds like a reasonable plan. And then we can start hunting the trains and choppers. It's sort of a multitasking ordeal. In all fairness. Right, and the last chopper is over here, so mission accomplished. Excellent. Uh, quit. Thanks. If you saw exactly what I should have done to get those other chests, gems even in Metalhead's world. You let me know thank you but for next time we have the dark passage which i'm sure will be a lot less dark and a lot more fun than described in its name i'm sure of it absolutely certain the fun thing is that I, it seems to me like we don't actually need to finish every level to be able to continue on to the next world and I wonder if once I've beaten Nasty Orc's Nasty Orky ass, do I get to see the f rest of the world? Can I go back? Is that an option I will have? Will I have the option to return to Stone Hill? Will I have the option to return to the Down Square? Will I have the option to go to back to Hive Caves? Maybe find the hidden painting and burn it. Will I have the option to go back to Terrace Village, which I, which is an option I already had, but I forgot about? There's a secret room in Team Rebus. That's something I should look into. Haunted Towers has a blue wizard hat, and yeah. Okay, so essentially. We got three movers, we got Hunter Towers, we got Lossy Castle, we got the Jacks, and after that it's just Nasty Nork? Good to know, we are almost there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!